everyone, welcome back to The Casual Puzzler. My name is Emily. We are doing a little bit different of a video today. It's still puzzle content, but it's not me doing like an overhead shot or brand review. We are going to be organizing my puzzle collection. This is something I woke up and I was like, I need to do something because prior to this video, there's puzzles all over the house, really no rhyme or reason. It was kind of just like scattered about, didn't know what I had, forgot that I had some. And so this video is going to be me gathering all those puzzles up together, showing you what I have, putting them away, coming up with some sort of system because it was just getting overwhelming and I needed to do something. So I've already done the whole system in organizing and I cannot tell you how excited I am because it actually is organized. I can see what I'm going to use for future videos, puzzles I haven't done yet versus puzzles I have and it's all in one place, which is phenomenal. So I hope you like this video. Let me show you past Emily and me organizing my collection. Hello, it is past Emily. I am first going to show you what I'm working with, all the places that my puzzles are currently stored and where I'm going to be storing them. And then we'll go through the organization process, trying to figure out some sort of system because right now it is not working. I have puzzles all over the house and there's no rhyme or reason. I want to have a grasp of what I actually have, plan out videos for the future. You guys can see some puzzles for those videos and I will also show you some ones I've done in the past. At this point in time, I don't know how this is going to go, but I'm really excited about making sense of everything and let me just show you what I'm working with currently. First over here, I have the kitchen table. This is a puzzle I'm currently working on. This is the one I'm going to do today and it's for my buffalo game puzzles video which is taking a lot longer than i was expecting because i have to do four puzzles for it so um stay tuned for that future video so over here on the coffee table we have two that were from my car i got them at hobby lobby this one is from white mountain it's from their collage puzzles i think it's so fun brings me back and then this one here was an accident i meant to get a cobble hill puzzle and i guess during the shuffle i didn't realize at the time, I got something completely different, but it's still pretty. I will still do it, and it's a brand I've never done, but I was very surprised today when I took it out of my uh, car. And then this one here, guys, this is my first PR package. It's from the brand Tracer. I'm going to do a video about them. They aren't sponsoring. They just gave me the puzzle to see how I liked it, and isn't that so exciting? Look how pretty. Anyways. Then over here on the shelf, we have two puzzles that I just like the boxes of, but I am going to kind of refresh what's actually out on display. So I'm gonna take these out and put them with the rest. In this closet here, okay, don't judge me. It's kind of messy, um, but we have puzzles up here. This is puzzles and down at the bottom, we have cat food, some cleaning supplies, and then more puzzles. In the bedroom, we have the stack of puzzles and games I got during my thrifting adventure. If you missed that video, I'll leave it up in the cards, but so many fun puzzles. I'm so excited for this 3D one. In the guest room, I have all this whole bunch of puzzles, which are things that I've done in the past. This pile here is puzzles that are still together. I'm doing a, another video about like rating puzzles that I've done recently and these are all the ones that are still put together. And then down here, we just have a puzzle hanging out by itself. And then I'm going to be storing the puzzles in this linen closet. I just cleaned it out of all the random stuff, put them in actual spots. And this is what we're working with. Plenty of space and I'm excited to organize. So my plan is pretty much just to gather all the puzzles up try to make sense of it, separate things I've done versus things I haven't done, things I want for future videos. Maybe there's a couple that I'm like, you know, I can part ways with it, give it to a friend, and we will just get started. Oh, I'm so excited for this day. Another 
So I've gathered all of my puzzles and I have to apologize again for the lighting in this portion of the video because it's in a very small little space in my hallway and there's not a lot of light that comes in here anyways. There's only like one overhead light like behind you. So it's just going to be tough filming in this little section but hopefully I can make it work. Hopefully the content is still good but I gathered all of my puzzles and I didn't all together it looks like a lot for me I know it's not the largest puzzle collection because I've seen some massive ones especially on some of my Facebook groups I'm like whoo how are you ever gonna do that many anyways I am going to come up with some sort of system really don't know probably things that I've done versus things that I haven't done I'm not quite sure my system yet I have the boxes that are currently empty I do want to have space in here for that or in general for organizing puzzle content or YouTube content so I'm going to hopefully have like a s enough space now I'm not quite sure if I will have that much space to play with but I am thinking I'll be getting rid of a couple of these puzzles things that I don't see myself doing a video on things that I don't see that I would use for reference or if I am ever going to redo them I much rather pass along puzzles so they get more use from other people than holding on to them for a maybe one day six years down the line I might redo this puzzle so I think I am going to probably part ways with a few of them but this isn't really a decluttering video it's just like if I see something that I know isn't going to get any more attention from me then I will hand them off so I've been trying to figure out what type of system I am going to do and I mean this isn't a finite thing you know so if I do a system and then in a couple months I'm realizing it's not working I can always change it so I do want to show you I guess the puzzles that I have I'm not going to go into much detail on them because that would be a stupidly long video but in case you're curious because I'm that type of nosy person where if I was watching this video I'd want to know the puzzles that I've gotten um, but also if I'm decluttering something I'll let you guys know my reasonings why and let's just get started um, I think I'm gonna get some of these bigger ones out of the way the first one is a Euro graphics puzzle I haven't done. It's called Harvest Time, which, funny, I actually saw the same exact image on Bits and Pieces, so I don't know which puzzle brand got it first, but I think that was very interesting. I also have the Cupcake Rainbow one, which you guys saw on a video, and then I have this one here, which is called Beauty, which is really pretty, that I have not done. I have one from the brand, I think it's called Heya. I think that's how you pronounce it. I looked it up on Google. It's a German brand. I've never done them before, but this is such a pretty one called Free Colors, and it's just so pretty. This is one I think I'm going to part ways with. It is from the brand Mind Bogglers. I got it as a Christmas gift from like a Secret Santa. I'm never going to do this puzzle. It's just not my style. It's like a woodsy cabin and snow and I just know I wouldn't enjoy it so I'm going to pass this along while it's still brand new and maybe someone else would love it I have a few from Cobble Hill that I'll put in probably back in the back corner just because they're all Christmassy puzzles and I doubt I will do them soon so I have this one which is really fun that I did it is called Santa's Little Helper and has like little puppies and kittens it's super cute I have this one from Cobble Hill. It's called Song for the Seasons. It's snowmen and they're doing like little Christmas carols. I really like Cobble Hill puzzles because of how crazy the piece shapes is. I know that's like a hit or miss with a lot of people, but I really enjoy them and the quality is fantastic. Next I'll put in my pomegranate puzzles. I do want to do a whole video on them because I have some mixed feelings about the brand, but we have first the Coral Reef, which is this fun art piece. This one was so tricky to put together. It's called Will. And I really enjoyed it. Again, it's more that artsy type of puzzle, so I will put that in. I have this one also, which I have not done yet. It's really dark. Um, in general, that's one of my issues with bump granite puzzles, but it's called Series Lilac, and it's just a really pretty floral scene. This one here was fun, but I doubt I'll ever do again, so I'm going to pass this along. It's just like all these little colorful buttons, and it was fun to do. I just don't see myself redoing it, so I'm going to give that a new home. 
I have this one from Buffalo Puzzles, which I also will use for my video. So I'm going to put that in like the video pile because I doubt I'll redo it after that video. I'll probably pass this one along. Nothing wrong with the puzzle. I just don't see myself redoing it in the future. Uh, let's go to, I think, Eboo next because I have a few from them. This next one I have mixed feelings on. It's my only Ravensburger puzzle. I haven't done it, but I just don't see myself doing it. I got it from a puzzle exchange and it's a really pretty simple picture. You know, I feel like it's more traditional puzzling, like back in the 80s, 90s, where not all these other illustrated brands were in yet. And this one, it just seems very, I don't know, basic. So I'm going to hand this one off. Even though I am interested in doing one from Ravensburger, I just don't see this one being like the one I want to start with. I know that seems really shallow, but I don't know. I feel like someone else would really enjoy this one and I'm just in holding on to it. I've had it for over a year and I just don't see myself doing it. So I'm going to hand that one off. I forgot I had this other Euro graphics puzzle that I got during my thrifting adventure and it's the one I got for Dave, which is all World War II aircraft, so I'm going to put that one in with the Euro graphics. I have my Fable and Main ones, which I just posted that video. I still have the two that are still together in that pile of empty boxes, so I'm going to keep those aside, but these ones I will put in. I'm so excited for this one. Um, I want this one actually pretty close because I will be doing it really soon. This one here I don't see myself redoing. It was just like a cheapo one from Amazon. Nothing wrong with inexpensive puzzles, but it actually like just felt like cheap. It took forever to get here. The box was busted. The puzzle was okay. It had pieces that like, you know, when the graphic is like slipping away from the cardboard, it was just a really poor quality puzzle. I don't see myself redoing it. It had some pretty pictures out of it, but I just don't see that I don't know. It's just not going to be anything I will redo. This one from Doddle, I'm actually planning on giving to Dave's dad because um, he was in the Navy and he's a huge puzzler and this is the Navy, which I think he would really enjoy. So I'm going to pass that along to him. This one here is probably one of my favorite puzzles. It's called Where's Bowie? It has a image about Ziggy Stardust and there's like 18 different David Bowie's inside this puzzle. It was so much fun to put together. It's on like the moon and there's like this crazy like dance party. I had a lot of fun doing this one and I could see myself redoing it because it was just like an easy one. So I will keep that one. I have this one from Mud Pippy, which I thought was really fun. It's called Cocktails Across America. And it was just uh, one of those puzzles that if you're just fun to look at afterwards because it shows all the different cocktails and what their like signature drink is per state. I don't know how accurate it is because the places that I've lived, I have never seen those drinks there, but it was still a fun puzzle to put together and I could see myself redoing it in the future or using it in a future video for my puppy. The next one I have is called All Are Welcome Here and it's by Mud Puppy also. This is probably my favorite puzzle for the message. It's just so sweet and it's just all these people together showing kindness and I feel like that's what we need right now. So I really love that one. I have this puzzle from Gallison which is all these different movies in VHS form but they're all like quirky punny movies so instead of like Wizard of Oz it's Wizard of Paws or The Undergraduate we have Bruti and the Beast. Flora Scump, like all these really funny, quirky names. I love puns. I am that person. So I love this one. And I don't know if I actually would redo it, but I wouldn't mind just keeping it for like maybe a future Gallison video. So I'm going to keep that one for now. This one is called I'd Rather Be Reading. And it's this really fun rainbow puzzle. Also, we'll keep that for a future video. I really like their puzzles. Their boxes are really sturdy. And I feel like if you like Mud Puppy, you would like Gallison. I feel like their quality and their style are very similar. These two puzzles, the ones that were hanging out as like little decor pieces in my home, I have already posted a video on. I, even though I have already done them, I don't plan on redoing them, but I could see myself using them as reference. So I am going to keep these puzzles for now. I think I probably will just put them back where they were because I like them as little pieces of decor. We have two Disney puzzles, which I don't think I would do a video on because this one you can't buy anymore. A lot of Disney puzzles are like limited edition. This one I kind of bought just to do for fun versus for a video. So this is the Haunted Mansion, which is like the innards of the Haunted Mansion. And then this is a Disneyland map, 
Let me know if you'd be interested in a video on these, but I just didn't plan on making one. But maybe you'd be interested. Maybe you're a Disney fan. Also, we're going to Disney on Monday, and I'm so excited. Ah! Anyways, I got this one in my thrifting haul, so I'll be keeping that. I have the mystery puzzle that I got by mistake from Hobby Lobby. I may do a video on it just because I really haven't heard of the brand, and it was one of those puzzle moments where you just forgot that you, I don't know, mixed it up. I forgot this is one I have done. It's called Imaginary Dragons from Doddle. I will pass it along. I just don't see myself doing it. Again, we have this one from Buffalo Game Puzzles, which is for that video. So I will be putting that one right on top. I have my interview one which I'm super excited about. I will be doing a video on this one. I got it in my thrifting haul. Someone actually saved me because I had no clue what puzzle this was when I thrifted it and someone's like hey you have a check mark in one of the boxes it's like this balloon and you guys know I like hot air balloons but just like this really beautiful fantasy type of image and I'm very excited about that one and it was brand new and I have this one from MB which is the 2000 piece which will be in a very far future video I do plan on doing that one sometime um, but it's just it's a lot of pieces and I need to have the space for it so I will hold that for now and so those are all the puzzles that I have. I'm going to put them all away, and that's my plan. Here is my puzzling organization, which feels so good. I love that there is so much extra space. Sorry, there's like that wood in between. But anyways, the top shelf is all puzzles I'm going to be using for very close future videos. So on this shelf here is all puzzles I haven't done yet, which... It's kind of overwhelming because it's a lot of puzzles, but I'm really excited about it. I love those ones there, are all ones that are in cellophane that I just can like prop up. Looks like a little store, super excited. And then down at the bottom here, I would consider like the archives, like puzzles I've done in the past. I might redo, but I really am keeping them for like references or maybe a future video if I'm going over the brand, but that is that system. Welcome back. I hope you liked seeing what I had, seeing the few things I decluttered, showing you future video plans. I had so much fun making this video. It is so much like less stressful knowing that all my puzzles are in one place and I have so much more closet space now because I have freed up shelves in other areas of my home. I would love to know down in the comments how you store your puzzles. Are you someone who stores them in the cupboard? Do you pass them along once you finish them? Are you someone who glues your puzzles and hang them up as artwork? Thank you so much for tuning into this video. I would love if you subscribe to my channel. I've been having so much fun here. I love reading your comments. I've been trying to reply to every single person who messages me. Thank you so much for tuning in and I will see you guys in the next one.